Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Figma to edit text widgets and also how to animate them using HTML and CSS. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started with it. So first thing first, let's make a new folder on my desktop that is Wix, which is VIX, not WIX. And let's open our Atom Text Editor. Cancel out all the tabs. Let's add the project folder here, which is Wix. We'll make a new file that is index.html and we'll add a new folder inside that that is CSS. After that, we'll make a new file that is styles.css. Okay. Now let's go to index.html. Open your browser. And search for bootstrap starter template. Click on the result for a second. What do you get? So copy this out and paste it here. Save it and remove the title and make it to Wix. And we'll add a comment here as custom CSS. We'll link our CSS here. CSS styles.css. Alright, and below that we'll add another comment that is Google Fonts. GLE okay now let's go to a browser and we'll search for Google fonts click on the first result and search for open sans click here select this style okay let's select this condensed one select this light 300 now let's search for another phone that is PT sans Select this bold 700. Now go to embed and copy this link from here. Paste it here below. Now let's go to body body tag. We'll add a new section that has class header dash section. All right. Let's go to bootstrap and go to components and then neighbor. Now click copy this most basic neighbor from here and paste it here. Remove this background as light. Keep the neighbor as light as it is. Now go to the third link item, nav link and make it explore. Now copy this out and paste it here. Make it subscriptions. Okay paste it for one more time make it templates paste it make it wix partners and again paste it and make it editor x we'll paste it for last time that is and make it support okay so our new tag ends Below that, we'll add one more div that is SVG dash div, which is the class. Now, let me show you the image which I downloaded from the internet, which is SVG. Scalable vector graphic it is. So, cancel this out and open the Figma you can download from the internet for free. Okay, so let it open. Cancel out all the existing tabs and minimize it and drag this here. Okay, drag this here one more time. Didn't took it, so zoom out and firstly, I'm gonna group what I want to animate in one group. So I will animate this, I will group this left wheel, select all the items from here by pressing shift after you selected all the items press ctrl plus g okay ctrl plus g it will get in one group which is group and rename that group to left dash wheel so for checking that we'll hide this so yeah we have selected it completely now let's do same for the right wheel 
select each and every part press control ok wait a minute selecting every part again and press control plus G make it right dash wheel ok it's also completely done so now let's select this car except the wheels which will have an ID as car and another ID will have all the wheels and all the part of the car in one ID which is car dash full which is full basically and let, I have skipped this part so I just remove the stones and pebbles from here and I just skipped as it is so yeah this is our SVG with I have added some IDs to it while exporting keep in mind that uh, you have to export in SVG format and you have to tick the option export with ID attributes and export it wherever you want export it in your folder so it will be easy to copy it so copy this all this coding from sv2.svg and paste it in our svg dash div we have got all the ids here which is car full car okay and what i'm gonna do is i will change the width and height that is 9728 and we'll below that we'll add another div which is class text and we'll add h1 tag to it which is class text dash h1 create uh, all caps create a line and add a line break website line break you are line break again proud of okay so now let's add h3 to it which has class text dash h3 so let's add the text here discover the platform that gives we'll add a line break here you the freedom to create comma design line break and develop your presence and a line break exactly the way you want and a full stop at the end so let's add another div which is class button dash div we'll add button tag to it which is class button one well. okay and the text we're gonna show us get started save it so we are done with our html now let's move to css let's style our html so that body tag which has overflow x hidden below that will access the header section which is which has height 100 view height and which is the main div of our web design which will be 100 view width background color will be let's give it as tag fd 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 which is kind of white color and the color of the text will be black so now let's access dot bar so while accessing neighbor we'll keep our background color to hashtag 8cd0f3 which is the color from the svg and we'll change it to wix.com and new link home for the home item and the new dash link we'll add margin to it margin right to it that is 3 rem and we'll access the home class here which has margin left 3 rem all right so now let's go down we'll first style our text and button now text dash h1 font family will be arial font size will be 70 pixel because it's a heading position will be absolute from left it will be 100 pixels from top it will be 100 pixels okay let's keep it 100 
copy this out and make it text dash h3 now the family which you gonna use is open sans contents and the default will be sans serif cancel this font size and make it bottom 100 and from left 100 okay so now let's access the button class you cancel this out copy this paste it here width will be let's keep it 230 pixels height will be 60 pixels position will be absolute from right it will be 400 pixels from top it will be 170 pixels border radius will be 50 pixels it will give curved edges border will be 0 pixels and uh, let's keep our background color to hashtag 8cd0f3 which is light blue color sky blue basically and the font color will be black font family will be open since condensed which we use google fonts for accessing those fonts and letter spacing will be 2 pixels which is the space between the letters transition will be 0.5 seconds so when the button 1 is hovered, we'll transform it, we'll scale it by 1.1 okay and so now let's access our svgs svg-dev which is the class for svg position will be absolute from right it will be let's keep it 60 pixels from bottom it will be 10 pixels okay so now let's access the left field from of the svg animation will be Let's keep our animation name to wheel and it will be of 8 seconds. It will be in linear and it will be of infinite. So, we will transform it. Transform what that is fill box. The box, uh, that's the property and will transform origin that is center. It will be rotated around the center. So, we will paste it for the right wheel as same and let's to the keyframes for it at 0% at 50% and at 100% the wheel should rotate forward and it should come backward at the same width it should take the same time going forward and for going backwards so let's do it for 0% will be 0 degree and it will be minus 360 degree for going forward and 360 degree for going backwards all right and when the so let's access the car without its wheel. So animation car 6 seconds. Easy in out. We'll move the car body upwards and downwards and it will be infinite and it will be alternate. We'll transform our origin to bottom. Our bottom will be basically fixed. And we'll keyframes car from transform it, translate y. That is from 0 and we'll paste it, make it 2. Okay. And we'll translate y and 10 pixels. Okay. That means we're translating y in upward direction. So now let's access our full car. Animation will be car dash full. It will be a 4 seconds. It will be ease in out, infinite, and alternate. Okay. So let's transform it. Transform origin that is bottom. The bottom will be basically fixed. And we'll add keyframes for that is car dash full. So let's copy this out. We'll paste it here. We'll make it translate x zero and translate y minus one one ten zero pixel minus one one zero pixels. Let's indent them properly. Press enter. So I think we are done with all our coding. Let's copy the full path. and we'll paste it here in the new tab so look guys we got what we wanted the car is moving in forward direction so like share and subscribe my channel for more awesome videos thank you guys